supine pelvic tilts. You'll be laying flat on your back with your, uh, with your legs propped up just like I have here. Now in this position, the goal is to get your entire spine with the exception of this little area right behind your, right behind your neck to be contacting the floor. So that can be a challenge to do at first, especially if a spine is lacking, it lacking any ability to flex or round. Uh, because the motion we're doing is simply taking the pelvis and we're going to be rocking the pelvis forward and backwards or anterior and posterior. And the whole point is to not focus on the pelvis, but actually on the lumbar spine because that requires flexion and extension of the lumbar spine. So first thing, you're going to flex your flex your ribs, the back of your rib cage, into the floor. They should never ever leave the floor at any point. And then from there, I'm going to go into a posterior pelvic tilt, which is what I think of is simply driving my lumbar spine into the floor. Not so much that my hips come up, is simply, you'll feel a lot of flexing in the lower abdominal area to make this happen, but pressing the entire lumbar spine into the floor, controlling that and just holding it for a few breaths. And then the opposite, I'm trying to keep the ribs pinned on the floor while only pulling the lumbar spine away from the floor. This is anterior pelvic tilt and you'll see my whole pelvis kind of rock this way. Ribs are still pinned. I can't move very far and that's fine, but I feel some, some different sensations in my lumbar spine. Again, holding it for just a few seconds. And then the opposite. Now a posterior pelvic tilt to drive the lumbar spine into the floor. You can focus on what your pelvis is doing or you can focus on what your lumbar spine is doing, whichever one makes more sense in your brain. I focus on the lumbar spine. Right now I'm rounding it into the floor. And now I'm arching it away from the floor, but not so far that my ribs pull up. You'll know when your ribs pull up because they do something like that. This stays anchored into the floor, only the lumbar spine, like you're trying to make a space right there. And then driving it into the floor to eliminate that space. So the motion itself, you don't have to hold either position for very long. It's more of a continuous motion back and forth between pelvic tilt this way and pelvic tilt this way or arching the lower back off the floor and rounding it into the floor. You should feel kind of fatigued through this belly area and in the lower back area, maybe even a little bit in the hips. 